Well, check out this video from this morning. Well, very, very dense fog. You can hardly see the top of the courthouse. That's what it looked like earlier today. News 10 photojournalist Dorothy Goforth took this today. So if you were traveling this morning, you know what was going on. In fact, we still have a little light fog out there today uh, going on. So what you're going to be noticing here over the next uh, several hours, windy and mild. The wind at times tonight could gust to more than 30 miles an hour. If we have nothing else, I really believe we're going to have windy conditions, so it's going to be windy tonight. And then thunderstorms, some of these storms could be strong and then colder by tomorrow afternoon at this time. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s, so we're going to go from the upper 50s to the upper 30s. Right now, the wind speed starting to pick up in Vincennes is 12, Robinson 10, uh, Flora 10, and Effingham at 10 right here in Terre Haute. It's 9, so the Futurecast wind gust might be overdoing it just a little bit, but we could have wind gusts here at 930, around 29 miles an hour, Casey 30, Robinson 31, uh, by 1030, uh, wind gusting of 37 to 40 miles an hour, and then wind gust into the 30s through the nighttime hours tonight and into the day tomorrow. This cold front is going to go through and finally tomorrow night, then the wind will settle down somewhat, but it's going to be windy here for about the next 24 hours. Now here's a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Uh, we don't have much rain showing up, just a few little spots of rain showing up here. We had a little patch of rain go through here earlier and because we had a warm front move up. And that's the reason the temperature has risen a bit. So it was 57 a little while ago. Now it's 59. So this warm front has gone through. Uh, the rain rises along that warm front and then it quits for a while and then a cold front drags through and that's when you get the storms. Now we take a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker also and show that there is a tornado watch in effect, but not for any of us here in the News 10 viewing area, but it's just to our south. So you get south of Richland County, south of Lawrence County and south of Clay County, Illinois. That's where we get this tornado watch in effect until 11 o'clock central time. So here's the future cast for tonight. Here's eight o'clock tonight and then we get into 10 o'clock tonight. See how this rain starts to develop and move through. Here's 11 o'clock tonight, midnight tonight, and then here's two o'clock during the overnight hours, two o'clock in the morning, uh, three o'clock on Saturday morning. So it could get kind of busy here through the nighttime tonight. The only thing I can tell you at this point is that there are no watches or warnings in effect here in the News 10 viewing area at this time. I'm going to be here throughout the evening. I've been talking with Everett on the phone and Brady on the phone, both on going here. And so we've got you covered. Everything is ready to go. If the weather if does get rocky, we'll be sure to be here for you. 45 degrees for the overnight low tonight. Very windy. Some storms possible. Rain, wind gusting to more than 30 miles an hour. It's going to sound because of wind in the wintertime because there are no leaves on the trees. The wind sounds really vicious. So uh, tomorrow, a high of 47, but that's going to occur early. So as the day goes on, gradual clearing and the temperature drops into the, thir into the 30s and then eventually into the 20s for overnight lows tomorrow night. And then we settle things down a little bit as we get into Sunday, a high of 48. That's still a little above average for this time of year. In fact, we look into next week and temperatures stay above average. This is really incredible, very unusual weather for December. In the meantime, short term, I'm going to watch for the possibility of storms tonight.